In 2007, the legislature passed and I signed something called the Global Warming Solutions Act. And this mandated that our state, statewide, reduce its greenhouse gas emissions to 1990 levels by the year 2020. Only two other states have taken this step, California and New Jersey, and this is tied in with our Hawaii Clean Energy Initiative, with the, which the Assistant Secretary and I signed early in the week. This is the first such partnership between the U.S. Department of Energy and any state in our country. It is unprecedented, and it is an innovative partnership that sets as a goal that within one generation, 70% of all the power we generate in Hawaii will come from clean energy. And the approach will be multifaceted. It will include 100% renewables on the smaller islands. So here in Maui County, that would mean Molokai and Lanai. It means energy efficiency at military installations, on Oahu in particular, locally grown crops for fuel to generate electricity, and as I mentioned earlier, a change in the regulatory and policy framework, which I believe is the most important of all. And then back to Pat raising the issue of personal responsibility, it means all of us being involved in this effort. Now Maui is a leader already. Kahiawa Wind Farm, which we were at this morning, is currently generating 9% of Maui's power, 30% of the power during the off-peak times. Uh, the de our Department of Transportation has a project going up this year which will include solar arrays on 12 major government buildings in the state, including the Kahului Airport. These solar arrays uh, combined will allow us to produce 34 megawatts of power that would offset us having to import 130,000 barrels of oil every single year by us moving forward with this project. And what we like about it is we're not paying for it. People actually bid to put up these solar arrays and they make their money off of the power that it generates. Uh, this week, we're going to see a, a dedication, the first in the country here on Maui, of a 2.7 megawatt wave energy project off of Pavela Point that's going to generate, could generate enough energy to power 2,700 homes. This kind of fundamental change in our energy systems is good business. It can provide a good return on investment. It helps us to diversify the economy. It creates new businesses and careers, and it improves technology and innovation. I want to pause for, for just a minute here to talk about the new careers. I came in last night to Maui. I was at a private dinner last night in Wailea. Two of the people at the dinner were students. One is the valedictorian from Baldwin High School. She's going off to Columbia. The other was the uh, school president at Seabury. She's going off to Georgetown. And I asked them, what are they going to study? And I had them come and stand up, and we had a picture taken. And one's going to study sustainable development. We didn't have that as a major in school, but that's what they're focused on. These are the best, and these are the brightest in our community and that's what they're focused on. The other one was some sort of life science, some, something in biology. But these kids are bright. They understand what needs to be done for the future. Today, when we were up at Kaheava, there was a group of students from the engineering club at Seabury Hall also there to start to understand the energy issues here on our island. Now, besides the diversification of the economy, the new jobs, the new careers, think of this above everything, it would save us, imagine, every year we send out of the state billions of dollars to buy this oil. Imagine if that money was spent here, paying the guys who put up the wind farm, paying the wave project, paying the biofuels here, that are it's being done here, with employees here, not just shipping out billions of dollars year in and year out as we've been doing. And that excites me as much as any other aspect of this change in how we view energy.